So let's summarize what we've covered so far in this series. All AS operators must consider deploying signing ROAS, so doing that through the registry interface, and dropping invalids. You can actually test today if your network is doing both. Maybe your upstream provider is claiming to support uh, route origin validation and have the ROAS signed. RIPE NCC have a very useful test URL shown on the screen where you can actually check if your network or your address space or the network address space you're using has the row assigned and that the network is dropping invalids. RPKI deployment is an important step to securing the routing system. It doesn't secure the path, but that's the next important hurdle to cross. With origin validation, the opportunities for malicious or accidental misorigination disappear. NLNet Labs have very interesting and useful frequently asked questions on the website, as is shown in the URL on the screen. Let's have a look at some of the current certification status. So these were taken when this recording was made, and it shows the current stats. RIPE NCC run this web page, the certification stats.ripe.net, and it shows the status, in other words, the number of ROAs created by the holders of a certificate at each of the five registry regions. If we look at general stats per registry region, we can again see for each of the five registries how many ROAs have been created, how many are related to IPv4 prefixes, or how many IPv4 prefixes are affected, and how many IPv6 prefixes are affected. Right now, the RIPE NCC region is well out in front, but APNIC and the Aaron regions are also seeing a large amount of uptake. Some other useful URLs are shown on the screen about RPKI deployment status. NIST keeps a track of deployment status for research purposes. There's the RIPE NCC statistics page I mentioned earlier. And APNIC R&D have raw status via the RIPE NCC validator, which is running at APNIC's R&D site. And you can have a look at that for the current status of all the ROAs if you haven't got ready access to a router and the validation table on there. So our summary is to deploy RPKI. It is in the internet's best interest. With wide deployment of RPKI, it becomes possible to only allow validated prefix announcements into the internet routing system. This will prevent misoriginations, it will prevent prefix hijack, and makes the internet infrastructure more reliable and more stable. And this will allow the next step to make an attempt to validate the AS path.